um, the navigational suggestions that we were just talking about, uh, an example of that would be if I just start typing TechCrunch, right? And what you'll see here is, you see it? Hmm. A link directly to TechCrunch, so I can click uh, that and go to the site, as well as personalized suggestions. What's so the logo? What's the deal with the logo? Um, it's, our, it's our Google for today. What's the name? There was some news yesterday about some, some huge fossil that made it. Missing link found. New fossil links for humans and lemurs. I, I, Something I, like that. Because we've been so focused on the suggest, we've not been paying too much attention to the logo. Fresh doodles. <laughs> fresh doodles. But we'll get you, I can get you more data on the paper. <laughs> I'm sure there's something somewhere I can find. If you're promoting Darwinism, South Carolina might come after you. <laughs> Have you seen that? Uh, not yet, no. I've, I've been like heads down. You all haven't day. seen the Craigslist South Carolina battle going? Oh, that, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're called, yeah, that's. With regards to adult listings. Yeah, yeah, Susan McTavish, that's a good friend of mine. So, anyways, click on that. Tech so, if we click on TechCrunch here, and I could have navigated with the keyboard, uh, we could go directly. And, to the and site. you said this is live and rolling out now. So, some it people. It is starting are, to ramp up, yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so, direct navigation is the first thing. Yeah. And you notice these other suggestions here, which have the remove link. Those are personalized suggestions. So because I did these searches um, when I was signed in and I had web history enabled, um, they are showing up because it matches my, what I've typed. What about like little up arrows and maybe a place to leave comments? Little search we call it Google <laughs> Search Suggest Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have not to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, to shorten the Suggest Wiki. We're happy to take that feedback. Thank but, you. <laughs> My theory was that you guys launched all that because you're, you felt your search market share was too high and you wanted to piss off enough users to make them. <laughs> we like to keep things challenging for ourselves, yes. So here's another example. Uh, if I type South Park episodes. So you hit remove and it's just personalized. It, do you have to be signed in or is it? No. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes sign exactly. In. Signed in uh -huh. and web history enabled. Yeah. Right, so just for those users. Um, and uh, if I type South Park episodes here, we see actually sponsored link because it's uh, relevant to what the user's typed. So it's going to be a combination of the of what it was formerly with these new hyperlinks and sponsored links mixed in there. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Could right. you go back and show the ad again? And, and also personalized. And personalized. To your search history. Right. Right. Yeah. The colors aren't very good on the monitor. But, but the, so the, given there's, there's so a the yellow background. It's hard to see here. The top level message here is we're doing yeah. this because because it helps you, it helps users get to the <laughs> advertisers faster. <laughs> no, if these are yeah. actually very, very highly targeted. Yeah. Ah, so the are actually kind of hard to just, just they're actually they, they kind of hard they to really die because they, they trigger relatively. But right, th the idea is that we're trying to make it easier for people. As as you saw in Searchology, I don't know if you saw the, all of it there, but mm -hmm. Udi explained to people that you know we're trying to come up with a variety of different ways to get people to the information they want quicker, faster. That's a big part of our job, and so this is. This is a good demonstration right on the heels of Surgeology of how we're trying to continue to do that. Um, I'll point out about the ads, it's, it's, a, it's right now an experiment with a, a, a sort of a, a limited number of advertisers mm -hmm. and it's, it's mm -hmm. not open to new advertisers, so it's not like a new program that you can just jump into and like, hey, tr you know, try it out. We're just testing it to see how it works and but advertisers to, to gonna see love the that. result. I mean, that's gonna be like something that they obviously really want. Yeah, so you know, again, we're, we're just beginning to communicate with our, with our advertisers about this. Um, and Why not put the ad up at the top? You know what, um, we had experimented with A little with like that. stars next to it. You know you guys do that at the holidays? You put candy canes next to your ads? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the other thing about this is that it's, it's, a, it's a fairly limited number we're of ads. We're not gonna be invited like, back anytime. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're invited back anytime. Um, <laughs> The, uh, the number of ads that are in there are pretty limited, so you're not going to see a lot of ads. Will it ever be more than one? Mm. We're, we're experimenting with a lot of different formats, so it's hard to I've say. I've seen a picture with two. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the, way that, the way that Google sees it is that ads, are, ads should be as relevant and as useful as any other result that is on the page. Um, and so we treat ads as if they're information. Um, and in this case, you can see that it is useful. Pontiac. Um, and so, again, this is just a way for us to get people to the, what they're looking for just a little bit quicker yeah. than before. And in some cases, we will, you'll forego a search results page and go straight to a... Now, is it always direct site. navigation? I'm, I'm a little confused there. Or is it only sometimes direct navigation? Those links, the navigation links at the top and the sponsor links at the bottom are direct. 
Okay, so if you go to one of the suggest links, that takes you to a site. No, that will take. So just so type in again. Only the hyperlinked ones. So oh, so if I type TechCrunch, if I go here, that that's taking me directly. But all of these are just queries. Yeah, it has a URL. So what's the percentage that show up with hyperlink results? Yeah, how do you make that determination? Right. It's based on it's based on a variety of factors at this point. Um, the uh, I'll, you know, it's it's basically about the how relevant it is to what the users type so far, and we use a variety of signals, um, a lot of the same types of stuff you know we use for the results page ranking and that kind of stuff. So um, it's going to vary over time. It's hard to be definitive yeah. about you know exactly what percentage. You so know, if you know in the a bunch of users are search for TechCrunch and obviously click right away on TechCrunch.com, so you know that, that that's what they're going to be looking for most of the time. That's what you would include in. Potentially, yeah. What about generic terms? What does generic Apple do? Right, right. You type Apple. Yeah. yeah so that w in that case, you're not making any assumptions. Okay. Right. right. So there's enough. The, yeah, there's enough ambiguity. So by Apple by itself, we didn't have enough confidence, okay. right? What about a lot Apple of computer? interpretations by Apple.com. How many times a day does somebody type Google.com right. into the search box? Into Google.com. It's high for Yahoo, right? Yeah. People search for Yahoo. Right? I don't actually know that number. Not just Google, but Google.com, because that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like not, they I'm not sure to navigate and get to the site. <laughs> yeah. Can Can I have the team introduce themselves? You guys are the three that three of the people that worked on it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm John Efrat. I'm one of the PMs. Okay, you're the, you're one of the product managers on. Exactly. Yeah. How many product managers does Search Suggest have? Um, you'd be surprised. Uh, we actually so. I focused actually mostly on the navigational suggestions and the ads. Uh, Matt Kulik worked on the personalized suggestions. And um, we also had uh, a PM in the Israel office work on, who works on the query suggestions. Uh, there's another um, PM now working on the ads, Rachel Garb. So, All right. Yeah. And I'm Jack Menzel. I'm a new product manager for Search. And so I get to hang out with these guys a lot. Uh, deal with universal search as well as this kind of stuff as well. All right. And I'm Othar Hansen. I'm one of the engineering managers on Suggest. And uh, our group mostly works on the UI aspects of this. Okay. You are, because it's light behind you, you're I'm entirely a, black. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we try to protect <laughs> Othar's identity. And then, and then you're, you're the PR flag. Yeah, that's right. I'm Nate Tyler. I'm in communications <laughs> worldwide. So one more thing we haven't sh shown you yet is that uh, the suggestions on the results page, like I was mentioning. So if I uh, search for roller coasters, and I go here, and now actually let's say I'm interested in, you know, what's the biggest roller coaster or something, and I start typing B, we actually show you, because we know that you're on a results page about roller coasters, we uh, reference that. You give different suggestions. And we, and we yeah. give you suggestions based on that, as well as just more generically what other, some popular B queries and so on. So all you typed there was B. Exactly. Not, yeah. And then I hit down, so yeah, just B by itself. Um, or if I typed, let's say I typed food, and then I'm like, you know what, actually I want Italian food, I just type I here, we get Italian food. So I can run that query. We'd luckily target it. That's right. In this case, yes. So. Okay, so, what uh, else you guys got today? <laughs> What's the, um, so we have, we have some localization stuff internationally going on. Yeah, speaking of local, uh, a fun demo is... Uh, what we're doing is we're expanding the amount of local universal triggering that we're doing. Um, we actually have a whole bunch of data that we don't we don't have quite enough data to actually local universal. So, so that's what that thing we, we, didn't, we sure. didn't actually plan, but that's a crazy good segue right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what this thing that's what this is right here. Local actually, results. The, the actual local results. Yeah. So you're putting a lot more. So it's not. It's actually it's a lot more in certain around the world. So you won't notice okay. you won't notice very many more on. Uh, if you're just searching, you know, in the U.S. on .com in English, but around the world, we have a bunch of data where we don't have quite enough data to really make, you know, a maps property make sense for people to search for mm -hmm. uh, locations. But we have a bunch of good data, and here's here's a good example query: Do Zoo Day? Uh, where is it? What was the? Huh? What's the capital of Argentina? Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Yes. Zoo Day. Yeah. Like we're searching in Spanish because we're multilingual. Like that. Day is in D -E. O D E. Uh, buenos. There you go, you suggest. There you go. And so this is an example of, of just, it's a bunch of data that we had where we, have, we previously hadn't exposed any of this. 
And now what we're doing is we're taking off all of this, all of the restrictions that we had worldwide. So if you're looking for for businesses that are in places like Ireland or or uh, Argentina or or there are lots and lots of places around the but world. Yeah, the review stuff. You guys actually that's your stuff, right? So the reviews are. It is our aggregation of stuff on the internet plus our reviews. So if John clicks through there, you'll notice I, I, you'll notice probably most yeah most of these are not coming from us, but they're coming from. Um, and people can leave their own reviews. That's correct. And here's a key thing: you can translate them, which is kind of cool. Click on. Let's see what happens. Down here. No, no, no. Above, above. Click above. Translate reviews. Translate reviews. Sorry. Yeah. That's cool. No, wait, no, wait. No, translate it. Back. Did you, see that? you ever do that? You ever use Google Translate to translate something and then translate yes. it back and yeah. see what you get? Google Translate. You can like, I think you could spend all day doing that. Yeah. It's yeah. like one of the coolest things ever. It's, hey. <laughs> um, so why were you guys restricting it in the other markets before? Um, so we wanted to. So one of the things that we've done is we made sure that the, the data that we are showing is of sufficient quality. Like we don't want to just we don't want to just show addresses of places just because we think we have them. We want to make sure they're of, of high enough quality. And so we've done a bunch of evaluation, a bunch of work on actually when to show and what to show. And now we're able to show it in the entire world, which should be a big, though, you know, probably not going to change. Uh, Is it we may, we may in, not in every hit, country you're in, doing it now? In every country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, except for countries where there are laws that don't let us do it. But, you know, those are, those are few and far between. I, can I don't know how often. The whole list. It's a pretty yeah. long list. Of, yeah. of, uh, Does that include China? Uh, we actually already had we actually already had all of our data we already already had it live in China okay. and so China is not on the list. Think places like North Korea okay. are on the list. Which so this is basically like Texas and people. Yes, this is like locally targeted <laughs> results now worldwide, which yes. is which is you know something we rolled yeah. out here recently. And another improvement to uh, search quality. Um, this is something that's funny because like in Google, these guys are just rolling it out and they're doing it right, and then I sort of stumbled upon it on some launch calendar somewhere, and I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. We should talk about that. What does the launch calendar for Google I.O. look like? Uh, Here, I've turned the camera off. Now. You know, I'm not... Um, Can we go through <laughs> just a preview on that? I, you know, I honestly have no idea what, uh, what, where, what's going on with I.O. I apologize. I'll have to get back to you on that. Wait, you looked up and to the right when you said that. I did. Yeah. Or, or that's I have no idea what we're launching <laughs> no, actually, in a week I I'm, I'm, at, a ma yes, at our I'm major conference. Serious. I don't know. I actually have no, no information. But these I guys know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. uh, rocket, uh, rocket packs. That's, that's <laughs> definitely the Google Space Elevator. Yes, yeah. the Space Elevator. No, the Space right. Tether. We have, we have in the back, but we have a big tarp Spoon over it, right next so that you can't see it. Right next to the dinosaur. Did you mention the? I uh, like the. Uh, you mentioned you know, the location set. Uh, yeah, that, I mean that was that like the, the Italian the query that you had. That that that, yeah. that has that's been out for for a few. Yeah, few I months love it. The space elevator is in back. We have a big. We were promised we'd have a chance to pet the goats as well before we left. <laughs> that we can make that happen. MG really likes the goats. I do. Uh, um, so right. with the with the uh, suggested results, it seems like the next logical step for that would be to include like images in the, the drop downs and stuff. Are you guys thinking about that? Hmm. We're definitely exploring other types of content mm -hmm. in the box. Like so click it, like the uh, maybe um, if uh, pictures don't pop. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. That might not be our first priority, but we're def there's definitely a uh, variety of different types of content we would experiment with in the box going forward. Okay, so here's a, here's a serious question. Mercer Mayer. I'm going to tell this is going to be serious. No, in, in Lit Web in December, she said, we will most likely, almost definitely, provide an off button for Search Wiki. Yeah. And then nothing ever happened. Oh, yeah. And then these guys, yeah. uh, you're not commenting on it. Like, we have no comment on that. So what's the deal? What's the deal? Well, so Marissa said that we'll, that we'll do it. I, I, you'll, you'll get it eventually. No, she said soon, and that's soon. been six oh, it's months. For, it's just for certain definitions of soon. <laughs> so it's you're confirming on the record that it's coming. It just might be in 2020. It's no, it's it'll, it's it's coming. It's just it hasn't been like given given that we haven't had a lot of people actually complaining about it to to us. We, we haven't made it our highest priority, but it is it is in the works. Answer the question. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm, a truthful answer. Yeah. I need I need his contact information. He's uh he he's answering. Not many people here answer questions. Is there anything else we can show? We're probably not going to be able to I even post this video. That's it for, for <laughs> that's it for for today. We're always happy to have you back and show you lots more things. Um, and we'll have to work.
work through the timing of it in terms of this afternoon and